I had to stay back when I was about, I was 17, 16, 17, playing football in high school. You know, um, about a good 70 yard touchdown, you know, and that's something that I would never forget. You know, it's, it's lovely and I'm gonna always remember because I, I do still have the picture of that. You know, that my mom you know, too. I do have a picture for that. So you know, I'm, I'm going out with that's my that's my favorite memory right now. You know, because I did something positive. You know, I, I looked at it, I did something positive. But my mem my my goal right now is to come up, get a job, and be more positive in my life. And then once I get them stabilized on feet to help kids, that's just my main thing right now. To keep them from going to places that I've been. Keep them from doing the things that I used to do. That ain't what I want. Didn't you My favorite person was David. Who's that? My mother. blessed her yesterday with this right here. Where'd you find that? This, this preacher from Overthought, he gave it to us. I it's a new kind. Had to figure out how to put it up. So what we gotta do is Wednesday, he's taking the day off, I'm taking the day off. We got a neighbor with the day off. We gotta clean up out here and move it around on level ground and then move our storage back up there. So, excuse our house. So how long you guys been living back here? Since April. I'm originally from Boston. I went down to Bradenton, Florida, and uh, I worked for a moving company. And uh, the moving company guy was on crack, and he, uh, that's all he did was move crack dealers. So I got involved in that, and I had a drug deal gone bad, and I had a gun to my head. And I had to get out of town, and somebody said, out there in Georgia, somebody put you up in a tent. How long you been living here? Three and a half years. Is it pretty nice? It looks like you got a great setup. Well, he does. That, my I had, a, I had a nice setup up there. Somebody burned it down. Back when I was doing drugs, I was down in the drug area, and I heard something crying in the dumpster. I went behind the dump. I went behind the dumpster. All right, and I couldn't find nothing. So I got back on my bicycle, and I heard it again. And I said, "Well, maybe it's in the dumpster." So I looked in the dumpster, and I seen a sleep sofa, mattress, box spring, sleep sofa. Right. So I lifted it all up, and there's a Heineken box, Heineken case box, and I heard a crying from inside there. I pulled the Heineken case box out, and uh, there she was, tied to a cinder block. Right, with a kite string, right, real tight around her neck, and she was tied tight to the to the to the block. So I took my lighter and I burned the string. And I got her off the block and I took her out. I carried her out the the dumpster and I put her in my coat. And she had a little paw hanging out like this. That's why her name is Cindy because she was on a Cindy block. Be able to burn my where my tent burned down. Got me a, got me a, a tornado hole. Nice. Yeah, I dug it myself with a claw hammer. <laughs> in case there's ever a tornado come through, we can all get down in there and, and get out of, out of the wind, you know? <laughs> 